How you doing, sis? How you doing? I'm doing all right. Let me ask you a question. You believe in God? I do. You believe in the Bible? Yes. Let me ask you a question. What is sin according to the Bible? What is sin? Sin is the things that we're not supposed to do. Right, right. So sin all things that we're not supposed to do. But, hey, come here. Come on, come on a little bit closer. I'm going to show you what the Bible says. All right, read what you got. The book of 1 John. Chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committeth sin right. transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So the Bible teaches us says that sin is the breaking of God's law. Right? So what you're gonna have is tomorrow, what day do I what day do our people usually go to church? Sunday, Sunday right? So, the Bible says that sin is the breaking of God's law. And when we go to church on Sunday, the first thing they teach us is that God's laws are done away with. And that there's going to be a spirit that's just going to come on you, and you're just going to know everything to do, and you're not going to have to think, you're not going to have to read, your brain's going to be on autopilot, and you're just going to be a perfect person from there. But the Bible says that sin is the breaking of God's law. So. Let's get the Sabbath day for the sister. Right? Because contrary to what we've been taught, today, sister, is the Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath day. But that Sabbath day is specific to you and me. Right. That's why we suffer when we break it. Other people can do what they want. But when you look at where we live at, it's the wild, wild west. Right? Men don't marry women. Dudes ain't no good. They put a they put a baby in the sister and then they bounce and then they put a baby in another and they bounce and the sisters let them do it Bring it up. we don't have laws to guide our lives right. so a lot of it is done in ignorance but we're gonna suffer the judgment anyway right. right so read what you got the book of Exodus chapter twenty and verse eight remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy since how do we get here how did our people get to America. Uh, what it? It's a ship. Come here for a minute. Let me show you. I, I want to ship because we brought this stuff out here to teach our people what they don't teach us in school. Right. We were guys. We were giving you shit. Where your fly at? Get your fly, sis. Get your fly. Cause I want to show you something on that flyer. When you look at that flyer, when you look at the front of that flyer, that flyer says the truth about slavery. Open that flyer up. Open it up. Right. Look down there. That's how our people were brought here. Right. As cargo, they took ships that they used to take you uh, move cargo on, rebuilt and fitted them ships to house humans, and they put us in the belly of those ships. And for hundreds of years, they shipped us all around the world. Right. And they right. brought us here for this reason, right there, for this. Bring this it is out. what they brought us here to do. This is why God allowed them to send us here, not to prosper. Not to come up, not to be a boss bee, not to be a rapper, not to be a thug, not to not to be on top. He brought us here because we were in sin and we are in sin. And the wages of sin is death, sis. That's why we're here. And we got here in the belly of ships. Okay? So what we need to do is we gotta relearn who we are because if, did anybody else come here like that yeah. did the chinese man come here like that did the arab man come here like that did the white man come here like that they came here on top of the ships that you were under right and they brought you here as a slave right and they taught you to hate yourself they taught you to hate your taught you taught you to hate your children right they taught you to hate your men Right. They, taught, they taught you to hate your people. Right. Get up. And some of the things we do, we don't see as hatred, but it's hatred. Right. It is hatred. Right. So uh, let's get a law for the system. All right. So we got the law of the Sabbath. The Bible says, remember the Sabbath. Because in slavery, we were going to forget it. We forgot it. They taught us the Sabbath is on Sunday. I right, re uh, finish that up. Yep. Well, we got it said remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. You gotta remember this thing. And this is it, this is important, sis, because right now our people they're going in and out. Everybody's in her, they'll tell you, I gotta go, I'm in a hurry, I, I, I gotta get here. All they're doing is going to spend up their money. 
Right. All they doing is going somewhere to spit up their damn money with people that don't care about them right. to put their kids in college, to put to build a life for their kids off of our backs the same way this country has always done. Right. You have always been the source of property, source of prosperity for the people of this place, but they never let that prosperity come to your community. When your community prospers, they burn it down. Read what you got. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. Hey, how you doing, sis? What we're doing is going over the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day. We're going over the day that God said that he wants his people to gather. Now, the first scripture we read was Romans 6 and 23 that said the wages of sin is death. Do you know what sin is? What is sin, sis, according to the Bible? What is sin? Yeah, hey, look, sis, read that flyer. Okay, let, let, before you go, before you go, you do the round real quick. Because this is what I'm telling what I, I want you to hear this. I want you to go home, get your King James Bible, read that flyer, go on YouTube. We have thousands of videos on YouTube for your children also, but learn God's law. Right. Because the first thing that we ask ourselves when something crazy happened to our people, what's the first question we ask? Why? why? We cry, why, why, why? But the reason is because we don't know God's law and we break them all day and God is the one punishing us. God is the one to let the bullet hit right. the baby. Right. God is the one to let the car crash. God is the one to let your house catch on fire. God right. did it. God did it. Read that. Uh, Deuteronomy 6, uh, uh, you know, the pants. pants. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Yeah. Yeah. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Now, that's important, sis. That's important. But I like to start on the back end to show you how this place, America, has tricked our mind. It tricked our mind, right? What is something that a woman wears that a man should not wear? When you see a man in that, it looks crazy we all, all, all off sight. What, what else? Earring. There you go. That's it, sis. A dress. A man in a dress don't look right because that's a woman's apparel. Right. Now, watch this. What is something that a woman wears? What is something that a woman wears? Uh, uh, what is something that belongs to a man that a woman shouldn't wear? Pants. That's it, sis. It's not hard. Pants. Right. Pants. And, when, and what, what, do, what do women say? Women say that all men want from a woman is what? That's it. But all women show men is what? That's all they show them. That's all they show them, sis. If that's what you advertise, that's what they gonna buy. They don't go to McDonald's to get pizza. They don't go to AutoZone to buy toys. If you set your store up to sell sex, then that's what they coming to get. But God gave you a dress code that will, look, God gave you a dress code that will ensure you will be all right. And don't, that don't mean that people won't try to violate you because God's going to test you. What God has prepared for you is greater than anything anybody can imagine. That's what the Bible says. But you can't get it for free. God is going to test you, sis. But regardless of that test, God gave you a way to avoid what America has created. And would you know what America created in the man, the black man? A nigga. There is a such thing as that, that. That's a real word, and it was made here because God didn't make us like that. Right. God didn't make us like that. God gave right. us all. Read that. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh -huh. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Right. Read. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Hey, bro, come on through, man. Let him, hey, look, bro, do you know what today is? And God said that all, hey, hey, bro, do you know what your nationality is according to the Bible? God said that everybody that breaks that law is an abomination. Before this is lead, let's get what an abomination is. This is how God feels about an abomination. And contrary to what the church teaches us, sis, 
God hates the sin but loves the sinner, that is not in the Bible. Right. That is not in, when you are in sin, when you are willfully breaking or, or you breaking God's law, this is how, uh, uh, what's that, uh, uh, Sirach? 12. Yeah, either way, either one. 12, 6. Either one. This is how God feels about you when you're breaking his laws. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 6. For the most high hateth sinners. Read that again. For the most high hateth sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. The wages of sin is death. When you in sin, sis, God hates you. God hates you. That's what we're here to teach our people. We're here to teach our people what the Bible says. Not right. what I feel, right. not what I think. We're here to tell you what's in this Bible so you can govern your life accordingly and so you can govern your kids, man. Govern your kids. Let's get up. Do not pass through that door. Bring it up. We get, because what we do is, when we don't know these laws, when you put them pants on, and you go in the mirror, and you going out with your friends, and you trying to look, you are in sin, and what you're doing is you're setting your brothers up to be in sin. Because the Bible says, if you are, if you look upon a woman to lust after, you committed adultery. The wages of all this stuff is death. And you know how we know that's true, sis? Because the, the a sister, me the dude, dress out of order, get with the dude, a baby come, and then what happened? That dude ain't gonna do right. I'm not having this baby. The wages of sin is death. Now she in the abortion clinic. See? Now the, the, and she ain't gotta go far when you black. Abortion clinic right down by the family dollar. Bring it up. Go to the family dollar, go in the abortion clinic, do your thing, come out, stop, get you some, get you some medicine and go on, on to the house. And, and our population in this country, they estimate would be double what it is today if it weren't for all these abortions. You have twice as many black people in America. And who do we kill? We're killing the prophets of God. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Right, so the Bible, could, the Bible teaches our women that there should not be a whore, that means that, uh, uh what is it, do, do not prostitute our daughter. 19, yeah, 19, 29. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 29. Right. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Now, sis, a parent, you got a daughter, you're a mother, right? You got two daughters. The Bible says don't prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore. With a parent that loves, would a parent do that? Uh, so what is the Bible talking about? What's the Bible, when the Bible, what do you think that means? All right, let's, let's, let's read, let's, hey, let's read that again. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. All right, so let, let's get that in Proverbs 7 and 10. Yep. Proverbs 17. Yep, Proverbs 17. You're the one that moved up the Italian. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, all right. This, this is what the Bible means when it says, don't prostitute your daughter to cause her to be a whore. Read that. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 7, verse 10. Right. And behold, there made a woman with the attire of incarnate. The Bible says there met a came a woman with the attire. Hey sis, do you have kids? You have children? You got daughters? You wonder all right, so what we're reading right now, that we read a scripture that said the Bible says, do not prostitute your daughter. It's talking to the parents to cause her to be a whore. But right now we we're, we're reading how it, it's strange. It sounds crazy. But this Alright, so what so what we read, I understand so we're gonna go ahead and read the scripture. We're gonna bring it out. Uh, this is how our parents called their daughters to be whores. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 10. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an heart uh -huh. and subtle of heart. That's how we do it, sis. By the way we dress our kids. That's how we do it. By the way we dress our children, by putting, when you put your daughters in pants, breaking God's laws, we bring the wrath of God on our people, right? That's how we do it. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.
Ramp. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.